Rodriga Venya the third, who is now known as the Dutor of Anglo, said his dream is to help the Aromophia of Anglo and the chiefs to have a university built in the Anglo state. He noted that it was very necessary and important to have a university in the Anglo land, especially an ICT based one which can help equip the youth in that field. Tabiga Venya the third asked for unity among the Anglo chiefs and the people in order to have the needed development rightly deserved by the land. He urged everyone to forget about any kind of conflict and unnecessary issues that does not bring development to the land and rather focus on the goal to have a better Anglo. He pledged to work in collaboration with the Aomafi of the Anglo state and other chiefs to achieve the needed development for the area <laughs> Nanya, <laughs> Mrs. Confidence, now known as Mama Abu Buyeko II, said, as a developmentally inclined woman, women empowerment will be her vision. She noted that women empowerment is very important for Anglo women and girls, and so will do everything humanly possible to make sure that her women and girls are well empowered. Mamaga Abibiko the second also pledged to make sure that every child in the Anglo state is well educated with a focus on the girl child. <laughs> The daughter of Alakbele, Toby Aqua the third, noted that Toby Gavenya the third is a great man of the land from the rightful clan chosen by the rightful kingmakers of the Lape clan. The ceremony was under the supervision of the paramount chief of Kiko, Tobi Adu, and was attended by very high profile personalities from the media, showbiz and movie industries, traditional leaders, families of the new outdoor king and queen, and a host of indigenous of the land. Ivy Satoji for Joy News. Take B. Thank <laughs> you.